Hey people, um, thought I'd do a little update video to give you some ideas really. Some, I mean it's not preachy, I don't want to come across as though I'm preaching because I am muddling, just trying to muddle through like the rest of you, you know, with, with whether it be anxiety, depression, panic, you know. Um, I just thought I just thought of some things today. I've thought of them before, but I actually, you know, the last two days I've actually acted on it, and um, and I'm finding it helpful. So, obviously, if if you're agoraphobic, like I am, you spend a lot of time on your own. Um, you know, I I say goodbye to the kids in the morning. And more often than not, I then won't speak to a soul until they get home. And I actually found yesterday. I had to. I had to go out yesterday, and um, I didn't. I didn't want to go. I wasn't in a state. But I didn't want to go. <clears throat> you know, when you just got that bubbling apprehension. Yeah. And I had to speak to someone, and it was only a mini conversation, a real nothingy conversation but you know a little chit chat and I actually found that hearing the sound of my own voice was weird for me having to having to speak and and hear myself <clears throat> was unusual because I spend all day just I might mutter a few words to the dogs and that's it which is really sad. It is really sad, but it's that's life at the moment. And um, and so one thing that I have found the last couple of days is to listen to music that you want to sing along to, so that it's not unusual using your voice and speaking. Just sing, sing along, so that you get used to the sound of your own voice. I suppose your vocal cords probably get a workout because. I mean, I I um, that I think it was last week sometime. My sister visited me in her lunch break, and I did so much talking. I was kind of over the top, and and I was getting out of breath and a really dry mouth just from talking. Where I'm not used to talking, my mouth is closed all day, and I'm not used to just having conversations and it was really weird but I, I I would also say though that some of that the dry mouth is the pregabalin since my dose has increased I've really noticed my mouth is dry nearly all the time and I'm having to chew gum and take sips of drinks constantly to just try and make my mouth moist it's just there's no saliva. I mean, I even thought I watched I watched a couple of um, vlogs about um, rhinoplasty because I hate my nose and I find myself looking at all kinds of stupid shit on YouTube when I've got nothing better to do. And so I was looking at people who had rhinoplasties, and they a couple of them mentioned this um, synthetic saliva. It's like a gel that you put in your mouth because obviously if you've had a rhinoplasty you can't breathe through your nose you breathe through your mouth and it gets really dry and i thought oh they were all american these these videos they were all american people so i thought i wonder if they do this synthetic saliva in in the uk because i could do with some just to try and keep my mouth to stop it from feeling like a desert mm. Now the other thing that I've done, only for two days, because I know you'll probably agree that it, it's hard to muster the, the motivation because you just talk yourself out of it. You know, you think of doing something and then you go around in a circle where you dwell so much and you think, well, what's the point? You know, it's not going to affect anyone else. It's only for me. What's the point? I don't care. I'm just going to mope you know, or do nothing or just, you know, watch videos on YouTube and, you know, and, and waste the day away. Try, if you can, to just set yourself some really small goals. Preferably that involve being active. So I, I on um, 
Monday, um, I made myself have a really good clean in the kitchen. You know, really thorough, got the old steam cleaner on the floor and everything, you know, the oven, and just really went for it so that my mind was totally focused on the job at hand. And um, not only are you keeping busy and not having time to think, but you've achieved something which will give you that added bonus of feeling good. Oh, yeah, when you've finished, you know, oh, it's not, it's not a fun thing to do, but hey, look, you know, I got that done. You know, even if you just do one thing a day. And then also, I've made myself do some exercise. Now, yesterday, and I'm not gonna lie, because I don't go far from my home. My home is my safety zone and I don't go far. And yes, I could take lorazepam to go and do a proper long bit of exercise. I don't like to take lorazepam unless I really have to, as if, you know, unless it's really worthwhile. So I thought, right, I'm gonna go out on my bike. Now this is a brand new bike that I bought myself in January. And yesterday, which is the 20 something of September, was the first time I went out on it. <laughs> so you have these bright ideas, but actually when it comes to following through with it, it, it doesn't always work out. But yeah, so yesterday I went on a little teeny tiny, just around my estate where I live, bike ride for the first time I haven't ridden a bike in years, absolutely years. And, you know, I, I pressed the, the thing on my Fitbit to say that I was going on a little bike ride because I always love to look at Fitbit so that I can see that I have actually done something. It's like, it's proof. You know, if it's there on Fitbit, on, on the records, you know, then then I did it, I really did it. And I, and I, and I can see my achievement. And then today, I, um, I mean, I've got gym membership. I haven't been this year. I really need to cancel it because it's such a waste of money. You know, in my head, when I first got it, I thought, well, that's, that's gonna make me go out the house and I'm gonna work out, which is good for me. And I might also speak to people or meet people. Well, when I did used to go, yes, I would do a workout and it was good for me. I never spoke to anybody because nobody's there at the gym to have a chin wag and a chit chat, they're there to work out. So that part didn't work out. But anyway, I thought I'm gonna do a little workout at home in my bedroom. And I did, and it was only like 20 minutes. I mean, I'm so unfit. I, I haven't been exercising hardly at all this year. And um, I mean, in the last year I've put on a stone. Um, and so I, I should, I really need to, but what, what my, my, I remember I was gonna point out or highlight is the fact that you might think, what's the point? You know, oh, I've worked out once, you know, I'm not gonna get results. I, you know, you've got to do it and do it and do it to see any, any benefit. But you've got to try and tell yourself that it's just one step, you're one step forward. You know, you've achieved something on one day because if you don't do it, no, it's not going to affect anyone else, but no one else is going to come and rescue you. This is what I was thinking today. You know, I've spent many years of my life feeling sorry for myself, wondering why me, how did this happen, you know, or one day things will improve. Well, that one day is only going to come if you do it. No one is going to rescue you. Um, no one can do the work for you, whether, whether it be, you know, exercise or whether it be your mental health, you know, only you can get yourself out of the situation you're in. You can get help from others, you know, and, and that's great if there are people there to help you. But as I explained in, in a previous video with the help that I've been offered from the NHS, it's as good as useless. You know, it, it, they've offered me a half an hour therapy session on the phone once a fortnight. Well, that's just, that's not gonna, you know, that's really not gonna make any difference to my life. Um, so yeah, so those are, my, those are my thoughts for today. You know, obviously I'm feeling quite positive. Um, 
which I'm proud of because no one else has, has you know, come into my life and waved a magic wand. And, and I don't know how long it will last, you know, but for now, I'm happy, I've made a little bit of an effort and I'm hoping that it will continue. So yeah, those are my, those are my ideas for you. Singing, if you're, you know, if you're lonely, if you're at home, you spend a lot of time on your own, try singing. Because singing, listening to music is uplifting in itself. But if you're singing along, I think also you're not dwelling on negative things because you're trying to remember the words and get the beat and get the, the pitch and all of that. So yeah, singing, um, setting yourself little goals that you can try and achieve and then an exercise as well. I mean, we all know the benefits of exercise, but um, yeah, it, it can't do you any harm. Um, it, it's only it can only be a good thing so those that is my update for today um, hope it helps 